I transition this will be approved because apparently just people just running out there, running fast, and it's not being approved. Uh, Dave Monte tweeted out a screenshot of multiple records that are going to be either rejected or unratifiable, seven. And some of them are with people that were like, wait, wait, what does this make any sense? So the U20 women's indoor record from a thing mo, 50-52, not going to count. Uh, two women yeah. in, uh, in the women's 5K, a 14-41, 14-39. I'm not sure what that is connected to because someone just ran 14-18. We can skip over that. But Christine and Boma, who ran at the freaking Olympics, is not going to count. Yeah. Um, Christine Mboma, who ran at the Diamond League final, is not going to count. So I just want to kind of focus on a uh, course found short, whatever, that, that's fine. But the main thing I want to talk about here is how the hell is Christine Mboma running at the Olympics in a Diamond League final have no yeah, doping weird. control? That's strange. That's strange because the thing Mo. I think we've been down that road before where it's a college meet and there's no drug testing set up because that one was February 6th. So that wasn't NCAAs. Now I hope NCAAs has it because we, as has been proven numerous times, records can be broken, but for random college meet, I'm not going to get too upset that they didn't plan on a record being broken. Then I have no idea why there'd be no doping. It li literally says no doping control for Emboma in Tokyo and then so, no doping control in Zurich. So Dave Monty responded to someone, how the hell is there no doping control at the Olympics? And he said it was because these marks weren't done in the final and that in the prelims, they're not expecting records, so they don't have doping control after prelims. You only get tested for doping after finals, okay, but, which makes no okay, sense but, as well. But you have the people there to do it. You see the record happen. There's probably yes. a final in some other event that day. Just be like, hey, you over there, go test that person. They just broke a record. We don't want to have this thing get confusing. Let's go test. We're all here. It's the Olympics. There should be the most drug testers. That should be the drug testing convention. Should be at the Olympics. <laughs> drug you testing should see con. those. It should be like Comic Con, yeah. but for drug testers. Yeah, the little orange coats. You should see DCO everywhere at the Olympics. And the, the, the lead drug tester should be Oprah Winfrey. And she just says, You get a test. You get a test. You get a test. Just the fact that walking through the oh, village. It's not a final, just... we're not going to test you. It's so stupid. Well, once the record gets, I get it if you're not going to do it for any old race, but you watch the race and you see if a record gets broken, did they just assume she was going to run faster in the final? No, I don't know. They're just, I think it was lack of attention to detail. I think they're like, yeah. maybe they weren't even paying attention to the race. You can see these 200s sometimes in the prelims. Yeah. You're like, they go All by right, real fast. Next, they go by fast. Yeah. And you're just like, okay, next event, your focus. My job here is to prepare for the men's 15 final. I got all my papers ready to go. Meanwhile, the 200 is happening. You're not really looking at it. And like they walk through the mix zone, they go, they leave. Oh, wait, they ran that? Oh, they're gone. Oh, oops, sorry. So you could stupidly have a little bit of an excuse on that but it's a bullshit excuse, so I don't buy it. But then where's the excuse for not having it? The Diamond League final. Hold on. Well, but hold on, hold on. What's going on here? Because she ran faster in the final in the 200. So what is, so that record wouldn't have even been, that record would have lasted less than 24 hours anyway. Okay, but the, the, but, like, the times aren't going to count, I guess. I don't know how that works. Like, they get strict from the record books? Those marks? Also, well, it's kind of weird that we only ratify the top time. 
that's kind of weird. Like, if you run the second fastest time ever in the world, you don't need to prove whether or not it's real or not. It's just weird. Gordon's, Gordon's having an existential crisis here on a Wednesday. Yeah, I just... Okay, so this is a little bit like the half marathon stuff where the some of that stuff didn't get ratified and then Latenza Beckett blew them all out of the water. So it's just like, all right, just get hers ratified then. Just Can you just do that one? Because that one seems like it's going to stick around for a while. So you didn't get Emboma's semi. You get a, a second shot here. I'm looking it up right now. She went 21.97 in the semi. Then she ran 21.81, win legal. So hopefully they got a sample there. I looked. She's, this is a U20 record. So I was like, oh, did she? Was her birthday that day or something? So that's not a U20 record. It's not 18 years old. She's got plenty of time. So I don't know. I don't get it. The Zurich thing, the Zurich thing is weird. Yeah. Because then, then she goes even faster. So the record, is the record now going to be the 2181 from the final in Tokyo? And the time that came before it and the time that came after it are both going to be nullified? Is that what we're led to believe here? You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking the doping control was there. But they didn't. Maybe no doping control doesn't mean that doesn't mean doping control wasn't there. I think it means no doping control at talk to her during right. that. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah, I'm not saying yeah, they yeah. weren't there at all. I'm just saying Okay. I think it's because it's a U twenty record. I think the doping pe to control people don't right. have right. they're not Statman John where they know every percent record of every age group from now to the time of history. So I think they were yeah, like, but someone's, they didn't know it was a U20 record. Records. But some they of those people know don't know any records. It's someone's job to inform them of the records. Yeah, but U20 they, records are like these weird, like, is it a real record? It's like, you know. It is. it is, And they need, someone is in charge of that. There's, there's doping control officers that don't know the 100 meter world record. Because their job is to collect samples from athletes all over the world. They're not track experts. Some of them might like track, sure. incidentally. But there's someone. someone's job is, if it's a record, you need to check off all the boxes to make sure the record gets ratified. And there's a series of things that they need to go through. And one of them is get a drug sample. It's not as if they run the race and then get on the team bus and then go back to state college. They're there for a long time. They're doing media, right? They travel to the meat hotel. They're, like, there's plenty of opportunities to get a sample. I think you're right in that they just – someone dropped the ball. But it's someone's job to inform them of the record. Kevin. Yo. Conspiracy theory time? You ready for my, hmm. my conspiracy theory hat? Okay. Go ahead. Did they purposely not test her? Well, they did it twice. Because of the whole <laughs> DSD situation. Mm -hmm. And they are thinking, hey, we don't want her on the books because we're upset that she's running the 200. We try to get her out of the sport in the four. Now she's in the two breaking records. We don't want her records on our books. So like a little subtle, oh, oops, we forgot to test you. Sorry, doesn't count. Mm -hmm. It's like a well, they you know, uh, they had to test her in the final, so it became irrelevant regardless. And there's seven other people on this list, so this is not a new thing. Although at the Olympics is a is and a Diamond League final is a new one for me. It's pretty wild, pretty wild. Um, I, I think it's I think I think they're trying to shadow ban her from the the world <laughs> lists. That's what I'm going with. But it didn't work. Mark Zuckerberg's she, involved. She, it's the whole thing. It's a whole, she, it's a whole operation. You got, your, you got your cork board with all your post-its yes. on it. I think, well, obviously it didn't work. Just as moving her to a different event didn't really work. Um, all right. We have some emails here I wanted to read. Are, is there any other news stories you want to get on? No, no, that's it. Um, 